Hi, it's Mike, back for a little bit more Space Engineers. Amazing news, they've just released Exploration Mode. So we've moved to our forward operating position, and we're going to do one massive assault, a suicide run. And then we're going to take what's left of the ship after we complete our objective, and we're going to go exploring going to see what we can find in that big wide world. Well there's our target up there. There's the big, there's the thing that you can see in the middle between the two asteroids that looks like a ship is just a half built ship. How is the sunlight? Yeah okay. My bad. But we moved here to be a bit nearer and we're going to do an attack on them and um, yeah maybe during the attack we'll talk a little bit more about procedural generation of the worlds they're going to be I think it was mentioned something like 6.6 .6 AU sphere and then like that's like that's the maximum I think and uh, it would take you 500 years apparently to fly from one side to the other at max speed. That's a lot of gameplay. Yeah, it's a hell of a lot of gameplay. Just going to get in the shadow here a little bit. We were getting tailed by a fighter earlier, but kind of decided to go the other way. Yeah, we're gonna. I've patched her up a little bit. Done as best as I can with what parts I had. And we'll um, we'll get on and formulate some sort of attack plan soon. I'll just decide exactly what I'm gonna do, and then we'll go do it. I think what I'll do is a strafing run on the blue ship. Take that out first then quickly park and scavenge what we can from the blue ship and follow that up with a, an equally impressive attack on the red ship that will be a bit harder because where the red ship's parked it has a little bit of covering fire from the base and that's going to be a little bit harder to achieve uh, perfect attack run on the red ship. We just need to nose up a little bit, get the nose underneath. I've reinstalled my manoeuvre nodes onto the... Oh no, they have gone again? What is with that? I have no idea why that keeps disappearing. Every time I come back into the game I seem to have to set that up. Still got to head out a little bit, but we'll only be here for a little while. A few minutes, not, might not even bother prospecting much or anything. There is iron in this asteroid. But, see, you can just see the base in the middle asteroid. There's the blue ship on the bottom asteroid, and the red ship on the top. The blue ship, we might be able to take that without being seen by the base. The red ship, we're going to be in full sight of the base, and they're going to be able to cover fire. So, two separate strafing runs, but we'll stop in between each one to quickly repair and scavenge what we can. And then we'll take the base, hack it, and then we'll go exploring. It's going to be a long night, I think. <laughs> Alright guys, we'll talk, go and read up about exploration mode and we'll see what we can uh, talk about with it soon. Yeah, okay, so we're flying past the base at the moment and just doing a... I want to do a recon, find the blue ship. I think it's on the other side of that bottom asteroid, but it may be on that other asteroid to the right. That long ago I placed it, I can't remember where I put it. So yeah, we'll have to do away with the planet once we get procedurally generated. It's 
it's going to look a bit weird infinitely flying towards the planet and just never getting there unless you sort of simulate flying along the horizon maybe but yeah you can have an unlimited sparsely populated or mid normal and um, heavily populated I think and they're, they're going to be infinite yeah and there's all kinds of things to discover I've already seen a few shots up on the forum of things people have discovered and people seeing their own ship up there and all kinds of stuff yeah I'm just wondering if it's worth doing a run on the red ship I mean normally I'd have built up I wanted to actually um, originally on this playthrough was build a few torpedoes and test out some torpedo technology and how the projectors work with printing torpedoes it's one of the reasons I had these bay doors installed long term was to be able to build torpedoes in that front bay or drones or whatever and then launch them by opening the doors and popping them out we need the blue ship probably cut away and come back when I find the blue ship unless I say something profound in which case I'll leave it in Okay, so I've spotted the big blue ship. And I'm going to set ourselves up for an attack run and I'm going to try and take out the whole of the back end of it and then fly underneath their base and out through to the other side. I'll consider that. If I can take out the back end of it, then as far as I'm concerned, I've rendered it unflyable. And do enough damage maybe we'll be able to sneak in and do a bit of uh, salvaging I've actually repurposed the drone that we had I can get a sneak peek in there so that's now repurposed with a grinder arm on it and there'll be one on the other side when I get enough parts or maybe even a welder but I reckon that is so I'm going to have to put some your I put those pitch controls back on but not your yeah we'll do a strafing run we'll take it out I've only got 20 rockets because like I haven't hijacked another ship I've just been spending all my time well all my time and hour, the hour that I played off camera I spent repairing the ship I've been over every inch of it, it's completely apart from what is empty blocks it's completely re rebuilt back to specifications minus the right hand hangar, that hangar door which is about I don't know 600 or so steel plates at the end of the day not major sort of come in sideways, do my strafing run with sideways is good because that's gonna give me my most that's gonna give me really good um, coverage with both the top and the bottom guns. Try and get a fairly decent speed up. I'm gonna come out kind of, no, maybe do a little parabolic, what's that on the right? Yeah. There's definitely something flying around over there at high speed. And that was an explosion, so... 
Could be me ears chasing after something. But that begs the question who's shooting the meat ears down? There's got to be a ship over there. a bit more uh, elevation, there's a bit less of it showing than I thought. I'm also not getting any range or nothing. I swear my antenna's on, but for some reason the antennas of the enemy are not really showing up. They do, and then they don't, and then they do, and then they don't. I have no idea why. Could be something to do with the... Uh, that kind of little relay drone I put down or little relay pod I put down maybe that's stopped working and that's why they're not showing up anymore about 30 meters a second yeah it's going to be good to get out there and start flying about with the ship I don't it don't totally die in this one attack which it will do if I hit anything no idea how far we are maybe it's their antenna that's gone offline that'd be weird if I got here and found out it had been completely wrecked and destroyed by fighters and the whole place is just a ghost town. That would be amazing. Well, she's not firing back, but we're not within like a thousand yet, maybe. Maybe she's powered down. Okay, so we're just going to do it. We are just going to do it. Ah, 900 meters there. Tran transmitter was set to 1000. I'm just going to bust up the back end. Menu. God damn you, Mike. You idiot. Little attention to details like that that get you killed. 800. Rockets destroy themselves after 800, so. Anytime. Anytime. We're gonna just rake her back end.
see, we're out of them rockets. We've got rockets underneath. So we better get a bit closer, they should kick in. And then we've got the Gatlins on the top. That is enemy fire, by the way. That's I think that's rockets getting destroyed by my Gatlins, possibly. Let's just come to a stop for a sec. Emergency power. I think I might have took out most of his Gatlins. If we can tuck up behind it and salvage it, then that gives us a good head start on taking out the base, which is the other side of that donut in shape one, and the red ship on the other side. That's going to be a hell of an attack run. I might have to do some flanking manoeuvres. Invader fighter down there. There's another one there. They could be a problem if they come and hassle us. We're not hiding behind anything so they can see us. You can avoid them by hiding behind rocks. Stuff like that. Let's just get tucked under air first, quick. Let's get, this could get a bit more interesting than I bargained. Some rocket fire going out. Something still alive down there. Oh, no, that's enough of that. I see some enemy fire coming up, then I'll start logging stuff down. Oh, my crew is really trigger happy. Sun check. I'm hoping I busted it up quite badly. Badly enough that it's not pliable. It certainly won't be pliable when I finished it. Finish with it. So, Space Engineers is sadly lacking opposition. Even when you play it like this sandbox where you set yourself objectives and you set enemy ships up and stuff that are going to attack you and even then it's still kind of lacking. Well, that uh, invader fighter's getting near. Very fucking near. Whee! Come on guys, take him on. Where's my serious Gatlin fire? No, I'm not out of Gatlin bullets, I know that much. So it's the problem with these fighters, sometimes they gang up on you. ourselves manoeuvred in. Into the shadow. Shooting at something down there. Quit it for a minute. 
I know it won that turret if you shoot at. There is an internal turret though. Taking out all of the uh, dangerous ones at the moment. So the fighters are keeping their distance now that we're in the rocks. They must have some avoidance mechanism built into them. They are a really good opposition if you're gonna if you're flying like in the open from one place to another and they've been building up for a while and there's say five or six or whatever and they all see you at once and come at you, you can have some impressive dog bites. So I'm going to call it here, and when I come back, I'm going to brave the fighters and all the rest of it, and I'm going to go over there and see what I can salvage from this ship. I've got a feeling I took out the whole pilot section, so we're going to have to throw a flight seat down to get control of it, and charge up and that while we're over there scalvaging. It's a new word, by the way, scalvaging like salvaging but it's also like scavenging yeah I think the fighters are actually going for the enemy going for the enemy base I mean they're not on anyone's side they're just independent yeah look there is there's a little battle going on over there go on get him take him out Meteor storm inbound. Just actually shows you how much fire that enemy base can put up. I've up turreted it and I've put plenty of rockets in it and the range is quite set quite high. Now the bloody mining carriage turns up. So yeah, we're gonna run over there, we're gonna salvage what we can from that and we're gonna brave the fighters while we're doing it. And we might have an interior turret to deal with. And when we come back, hopefully I'll know a hell of a lot more about the new update. I only had this hour to film so I haven't really had a chance, you know, kids are all asleep, the presents are unwrapped and I've got an hour of nothing to do except drink beer and smoke and play this game. So anyway I'll come back, I'll update you and I'll let you know. Bye all.